So I just need to keep in shape mainly. I mean, also, you know, new personal bests are welcome. But I am not, this is going to be a relaxed speed run. If such a thing exists. I'm just going to have a good time with this. So we need, first of all, a new game, Volume 1. You played, ooh. Well, you know, if you'd like to join us and do a race sometime, or... The song I sing will tell the tale of a cold and wintry day. When evil fled and brave men bled, the Dark One came to stay. Castle walls and torch-lit halls at a price men had to pay. Till men of old for blood and gold had rescued Scarabray. Hi, Cat. Of course, the minute I start talking, the cat wants to be involved. Yes, yes, you're a cat. Good for you. All right, and thus the story begins. This is the stuff of legends. We don't need that advice. I'm very good at this game at this point. So, oh, first things first, before we do that, delete the pre-made characters. D-D-Y, D-Y, 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 D-Y. Create. And I usually like to run a team of female characters. Hobbit Rogue. We are looking specifically for 18 dexterity. Uh, hit points are a little low. We're going to try again. Try again. There we go. Now we're looking. Uh, we need a dwarf bard, and I'm looking for constitution, 17 specifically. There we go, that's a good one. Strum. Create a character. Um, no, we need our conjurers and magicians. The conjurer is going to be the archmage. <coughs> Normally I want 17 intelligence, but that's such a high hit point and spell point count. That's almost worth it. No, oh, we'll re-roll. We want that, want that 18, 17 intelligence. Mm. There we go. That's good. Blaze. We need another gnome magician. Want that intelligence score. Want that 17. Not enough spell points. This magician is going to be our archmage at the end of the game. Ooh, all those spell points almost makes it worth it. If I could be sure to get intelligence at levels up, that would be... That would be so important, though. That high high spell point count is important, the high intelligence is important. Oh, come on. Give me a 17. We'll take it. Magician's magic points are not as important as the intelligence. What shall her name be? Blaze and... Hmm. Magic. Works for me. And last but not least, we need... a dwarf hunter. And I'm looking both for constitution, as high as I can get, and the full 13 points of intelligence. That's good. This is Robin. And Robin is going to be reserved. Not going to touch Robin for a while. Not till the third game. Robin doesn't come out to play. Okay. My... My notes are ready to go. 
My live split is ready to go. Looks like we're ready to go. All right, here we go. When I hit enter the city, I will start the timer. In three, two, one, here we go. All right, off we go. We need to buy some stuff. We need a buckler, some gloves, helmets, leather armor, two. Strum needs a tower shield, a flute, leather gloves, helmet, scale armor, blaze needs leather gloves, and robes, as does magic. Robes. And I should have 60 left. There we go. Yep. And that's that. And it automatically equips me of any items I don't have ready to go yet. So we're going to have a bard song, uh, which will be the Batir Kiln Fest. We're going to order a drink, ginger ale, which doesn't impress the girls, which is fine. And we're going to go start the grind. Three gnomes fight. One gnome. How he goes. Three hobbits. Three orcs be a bit tricky. Three barbarians is a no-no. Three barbarians, no. No, skeletons are not doable. Three dwarfs, yeah. Remember, according to Tolkien, the proper plural of dwarf is dwarfs. With an F, not a V-E-S. Reload. Let's not take that death right now. One skeleton should be doable. Two skeletons is a bit iffy, but we're going to do it anyway. Uh, we're going to do a quick fix of this. <laughs> Alright. Hey, hush. Three hobgoblins. No. No. One nomad's doable. I'm going to go heal up. Three mad dogs. Mad dogs are a fairly safe source of good, a fairly safe and fairly potent source of experience. Three barbarians are a potent source of experience, but they're not safe. Three kobolds. Three thieves. Thieves are good for money. Not bad for experience either. A halberd. No one can use it. One merc. Done. Scale armor, we've got armor. Three orcs be a bit of a fight. Three skeletons, a bit rough. Three thieves. As long as they don't pick on the weak characters, we'll stop and heal up. Finds a lamp, thank you. <laughs> Found a robes, robes are not important. Three nomads, too much. One hobgoblin. One hobgoblin face death itself in the form of a single hobgoblin. <clears throat> One magician should be easily takeable. Two spiders. Spiders hit pretty hard, but it's all those legs. See, so they darn near killed the uh, bard. I'm quick saving a fair bit. There's going to be some saves coming later. It'll be good. Base and magic have level up, levels up. We'll get everyone to their level and then we'll go. Thank you. Yeesh. Why did I not go heal? I'm gonna pay for that. Yeah, there it is. Okay, come on. Okay, we'll go heal up now. And we will go and. Uh, Sell all our stuff. So, not the lamp, but all that other stuff which we don't need. And we're going to go to the review board. And. Good. Yeah, we'll take that. Save scum our levels. Yes, we'll definitely take that. Yep. Yeah. Nope. Got greedy. Mm mm. What intelligence? Definitely not. Even with all those spell points. I want that intelligence. There it is. No! Come on, guys! 
Mm -mm. Oh, it was luck and dexterity. Neither of those are intelligence. Come on. Come on, come on. That's luck. Luck is not what I want. Luck is good, don't get me wrong. Constitution is an acceptable substitute, but one of them's got to get intelligence. Yeah, with those little magic points. Mm, we'll save score. We'll try. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Strength, strength. Strength, strength. These are spellcasters. They do not need strength. Uh, with all those spell points, we'll take it. Okay, away we go. So the reason for trying to get intelligence on them is that it improves their magic points per level. That's all. Um, for every point of intelligence after the 14th, so starting at 15, you get one bonus magic point per level. And it doesn't sound like much, but in later games it's going to make a big difference if I, say, if I scum for it now. So when I'm getting huge numbers of levels on those spellcasters, I want them to have a massive amount of magic points. Uh, they're going to need ridiculous amounts of magic points because they're going to be throwing spells that cost 80, 100, 150 spell points. Um, pretty much every round of combat in the, la in the latter games. It's the same reason that I wanted the hunter to have a high intelligence score. Because she also is going to become a spellcaster, which is weird to say. But in the third game, we have the option to turn a hunter or any uh, non-spellcasting class character into a spellcaster. And it will, in fact, be important to do so. If they advance, yeah, okay, run away, thank you. Five orcs is too tough. Three kobolds. Two kobolds. One kobold. No kobolds. Three mad dogs. Three mad dogs. One mad dog. No mad dogs. I haven't found any weapons yet. Which means that, that everyone's still punching. Run away. Requiem. Okay, good. let's get that level up. Yeah. Yeah. No. There's an intelligence point. There's a constitution. Constitution strength, no. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, yeah. Doesn't matter what you get. It's blades that matters. Darn. Come on. Come on, game. Come on, game. Nope. Just want that point of intelligence. That's all I need. Just one point. One in five chance. No. That's a constitution point. That's close, but it's not the same. There it is. Lock is good. Whoa, thank you. Yeah, we'll take those levels. Spell acquiring, yes. So every odd numbered level for spellcasters up to the 13th, they get a new level of spells. Second level spells for conjurer and magician are pretty all right. Um, we can fight this now. Um, Mage Gauntlets for Rogue, Arc Fire. What we really want is those third level spells, because those have um, group attack spells. So we can just blaze down a whole group of barbarians, for example. Stop hitting. Fix, blaze. We'll be able to War Strike and just kill both of them at once. Barbarians are the best source of experience I can get here in town. Um, 
but they're uh, hard to kill. Eight hobgoblins is just too much. Six dwarves we can probably handle. Not quick fix. Uh, mage gauntlets on the thief. Um, arc fire on the dwarves. Attack, attack. Mage gauntlets on strum. Uh, yeah, we'll just attack. Oh, haven't even killed any of them. That's not fun. Three thieves. Let's recover some of our money. Scale armor is not going to do it. Come on. Drop me a broadsword or something. Don't make me go buy those, buckler. Mad dogs. Come on, one of you guys has to have like a dagger or something. Eight barbarians. No thank you. So you might wonder why it is sometimes the fight just doesn't happen. It's because I run away. Um, running away is a free action in the game. If you fail it, you just start a round of combat. So it's perfectly viable to try it any time you don't want to fight something. It's not iffy. Five barbarians still going to waste me. Four nomads is probably still going to do a number on me. Yeah. Why am I doing that? I should go heal. Oh, I tried to run away. It didn't work. Mm. Still three of them. Didn't even kill one in that batch. You know what? We're going to go buy some equipment here. The war axe can go to Strum. I think. Yeah. And we'll buy you a mace. There we go. Six orcs might be doable. Find out real quick. So now we're at four orcs. So it looks like it is. Two orcs. Good. No orcs. Level up for those two spellcasters, but I'm really looking for is um, 5,000 experience. At 5,000 experience, my spellcasters get third level spells. And again, third level spells include War Strike and Star Flare, which will hit an entire group of enemies. Okay, we're at 34. Essentially 35. Thirty-six. Call it thirty-seven. Thirty-nine. No. We will heal at forty. Yeah. Forty-one. We'll say forty-one. Forty-two. This place is not going to be there. Yeah. Nope. Tough, but we'll do it.
seven gnomes. Don't really care if Thief gets offed. Because the Thief's Temple here will heal rogues for free. 46, okay. Let's go for it. Alright. So 130, basically, is what's left. 30 points. That'll do it. Even if they kill off magic. Yeah. There's our 5,000. Nope. Looking for Hide in Shadows skill. There we go. Yes, thank you. Hit points there. Spell points now. Thank you. Spell acquiring. There's that. And there we go. Now we go elsewhere to grind. We grind over here now. Now we cast Mystic Shield. This is Roscoe's Energy Emporium. Roscoe sells magic points. War Strike. Take care of them. The next goal I'm looking for is uh, 9,500 experience, which will get me uh, the next level of spells, which brings me Elix Instant Wolf, which allows me to put wolves in front of my party that can't get killed. Or that can't... Uh, that means that my guys can't get killed. They can get killed, but they're cheap to summon, so we just summon a bunch. Put them in harm's way. Broadsword. Weirdly, it's not, like, I don't really mind that characters die. It's expensive, but uh, I don't like the, the lost experience for that. There's one level up. Again, I'm going to combine levels up. I'm going to get two for them. Here we go. Three nomads. Two thieves. And a partridge in a pear tree. That's 73. Seventy-six. Seventy-seven. Four dwarves. Seventy-eight. I think that's 83, actually. 84. 
86. Call that 87. Looking for 95 total. No, cast the spells. Yes, I know I can beat them without it, but cast those spells, it's faster. 89, okay. 90. 92, in fact. 93. Should be this fight be enough? Yeah, definitely. Okay, exit to town, and over here we go. Do 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 ba da ba da ba da da ba da 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 Yes, thank you. Don't mm, yeah, we'll accept it. Okay. Now comes the next grind. Strom is going to switch over to uh, Traveler's Tune. Speak to the priest. I happen to know what I have to say. So I know there's a trap in front of me, so traps at it. There it goes. And we go all the way over here. There's a trap in front of me there. I should also cast my wolves so I don't forget them. There we go. Go through here. 45 zombies. Hide in the shadows. Can't be hit. Defend. Cast. War strike. And nope. Hide, defend, cast war strike, cast dragon breath. And take a breather. Trap sap it open. Priority finds a flute. Flute is not useful. Inside this party are three wolves. I've got nothing more than that. It's just, you know, a reference. Uh, defend. You're going to defend. We're going to cast Dragon Breath. That should do it. Unidentified gloves. So I have Thief identify them. Okay, we'll take it to Garth to identify it. We've got to dump our stuff anyway. Low lag. out. Go over to see Ross. Roscoe, my friend. Recharge me. Thank you. Um, no, no. Cast three. More wolves into, into the play. Recharge. We'll head over here to sell off our junk. We'll identify those gloves first. They might be useful, but I doubt it. Mithril gloves. I was wrong. They are useful. There we go. Okay. Five hide and shadows? No, no, no. No, no, no. We're not taking five hide and shadows. Seven is iffy. More, please. More. Thank you. There's some hit points. That 19 hit points, that's the reason I, I um, go for uh, big counts on my, on my stats at level up, or uh, at, uh, on the initial rolls, and at levels. Because otherwise, you're not going to get those big, big drops of points. Hide, defend, cast... Cast. Let the fire let the sparks fly. Mithril arrows. 
not useful. Sellable, but not useful. And anyway, we're we're grinding. We are looking for a couple of of uh, specific pieces of equipment as well. Hey, one of those wolves might survive. Hey, all right. A lax liar. That's one. So we're going to switch up for the lax liar. We're going to cast two more wolves into existence. We'll save. We're going to come over here. Hide. Now with the Lax Liar, um, it provides unlimited bard songs. So I can use bard songs in combat to do things like help things along. Bard Sword also does that, uh, as well as being a pretty great uh, piece of equipment generally. So uh, yeah, we're covered now. What I'm looking for now for the bard is a cold harp or a fire horn. Cold harp or fire horn, which gives me a group attack that I that doesn't take magic points up. And then, once I have that. Uh, about all that's left to look for, aside from random little bits of handy equipment, um, shield staffs would be handy, uh, little bits and pieces, odds and ends, if you will, uh, of handy equipment. Uh, there's also uh, just, um, what am I looking for? The word is escaping me. Oh, a light wand. I want a light wand. Unidentified arrow is not going to be of use because I'm not using bows. Why don't I use bows and arrows? Um, they're not exceptionally useful. There are some situations in which they might be, um, but it's just they're not. Um, they're not going to help me out in most cases. One of the neat things the game does to compensate for a lot of um, advantages of hand-to-hand -hand combat, like the critical hits and the multi multiple hits that fighters get, um, ranged combat is a lot more damaging. Like, the damage on arrows is significant. But really, I'm not looking for... When it comes to uh, attacks, I'm not looking for damage. Now, at this point in the game, damage is a little more important, but... What I'm looking for are um, uh, critical hits, which are instant kills. So I'm looking for specific types of weapon. I'm looking for specific types of character class. Um, but mostly I'm looking for stuff that has a use outside of just pummeling things. Thank you. Next level of spells. Pummeling things is important, but the game is not won or lost on damage values. It's won or lost, where are we? 39, okay. It's one, the game is won or lost uh, based on the ability to uh, destroy a target in, sing in a single hit. And at the end of the game, that's not done with damage. Right away, there help. Before the song comes in. A plate armor. That sells nice, but it's not going to do me any good. There's a fire horn. Wow. Okay, we can just straight up equip that because we've got Lax Liar. Or we've got um, 
the Bard Sword. You don't have to worry about running out of songs. Hide, use, defend, defend, defend. Mithril Shield is useful. Uh, that will go to... I don't think Thief can use it. I could be wrong. Yep, okay. Stand corrected. And of course with that fire horn that reduces the amount of spells I have to cast with my heavy spellcaster. So we're actually going to be able to go and do one more over here. Ghouls. Hide, use the fire horn, defend. Boom. There, without having to cast the attack spell every round. I remember where I was. There we go. I can focus on Instant Wolf and Trap Sap. What I really want is a light one, so I don't have to use lamps and torches. Um, <coughs> there are other items that provide light, too, later. Uh, Dayblade, Panpipes. But really, I want something that can give me light that's not just based on me lighting a torch up. Tower shield, fine. So, I mean, there's not a whole lot to say about much else. I mean, it's pretty straightforward what's going on. There's a light wand, thank you. 72 charges on that thing, perfect. Make sure it's in the hand of the right person. Yeah, that's my conjurer. That's going to be the... Uh, yes, the conjurer is going to be the destiny knight, so yes. That's who wants that. It's from arrows, I'll sell fine. And we'll do one more fight before going up, up to recharge. Pardon me. Okay. Hide, use, defend. Finds a robes. Good for us. Where are we in the hit on the experience? 67. Nope, thank you. I appreciate the offer, but I'm not going to fight you. Hey Moose, how's it going? Level six spells. Just vibing and coughing, yeah. I know the feeling. I figured I should practice uh, because I have I have uh, this game submitted to three marathons, so uh, I should actually have it ready to go just in case someone actually wants to, you know, see me do this. Shield ring, nice. Uh, strum inventory at the bottom. Shield ring, thank you. I'm actually getting good. Uh, Good equipment distribution this time. Makes me wonder when the other shoe drops. Looking for 115,000 experience right now. Mithril bracers, wow. Actually, I can put them on you. I'm getting a heck of a good distribution here. This is going to sting me later, isn't it, when I'm looking for Conjure Staffs. I've already cleared that trap. Oh, 
this. So why, you might ask, don't I move up to summoning ogres? Well, ogres are more expensive, and um, they die just as quick <laughs> as the wolves do. Their purpose is to defend the, front, the, the back line so that no one gets hit. So, you know, the ogres just don't serve the purpose. Try one more fight here. He got away with that. Mithril gloves. That would go to Strum, I think. I've already got some. Yeah, I'm just worried about Paladin Bard. Okay, cool. So one of the things I find neat about this game, just just cause, just cause I think it's an, a neat choice they made. All sounds are diegetic, which means they're all things that exist in the game world. You don't get any music if your bard isn't playing music. Um, all the other sounds are, are sound effects, like you might hear wolves howling or... Um, you know, it's, to me, that's just neat. It's an interesting way to uh, create your game world. Samurai figurine. That sells nice. It could be used to summon a samurai. And again, the samurai will die just as quickly as the wolves do, so there's really no point in doing that. Save me a few magic points, but it sells, sells well too. Leather gloves, not useful at all. So, yeah, 100 and. 115,000 is my next um, next spell level. Yeah. A mandolin. What are the zombies doing with a mandolin? I mean, it's not so much that I'm going to murder the samurai, it's just that standing in front of this party isn't a safe place to be. Hello? Quit lagging, please. Thank you. Uh, where are we? You know, it's the front... The first four characters in the lineup are in melee range, capable of attacking and being attacked. Everyone... The, the last three are not, which is why... Like, I'm summoning three wolves to deal with my nonsense. What are we at? 100,000. We need 115. And unfortunately, it's not It's not going to be nighttime before we get a chance to do it. Yeah, it's already nighttime. So nighttime, my spell points don't regenerate uh, in the sun because there is no sun. Um, Garth's equipment emporium is closed at night, and so is the review board where I get my levels. So I'm going to have to. Uh, I have yet to successfully do this first grind in one day, but after that, oh, the thief didn't hide in the shadows. Very, very nearly got them killed. And then uh, once I reach that threshold, 115,000 experience, um, I can get my 7th level spells, which will mean also that I convert the Conjurer to a Sorcerer. Well, the Rogue didn't make it through that one. Darn. There's my first use of the light wand. 
Now, the rogue failed their hide and shadows check, which meant that they were on the front line, and... Well, there's a reason I'm summoning wolves to stand in front of me. So that that doesn't happen. And even with an armor class that low of minus seven. New order. One, two, three, seven, four, five, six. Uh, how are we? Oh, so close. It's the conjurer I need. Six thousand points. Not even. What is it? How did I get six thousand out of that? Uh, one thousand one hundred. These guys should do it right here. Hide, use, defend. Done. Okay, the review board is closed. We don't need to replace those guys. Yeah. So, we go back to camp. If you enter camp at night time, when you leave it, it will be morning. There we go. Let's stop here. Another Mithril Bracers, wow. All this stuff gonna get sold. Mithril Bracers. Sell, yeah, everything. Not Lax Liar, but yeah, the other figurine. We're gonna hold on to Lax Liar. Hey, what am I doing? Okay, change class. The magician stays as a magician. The conjurer is going to take... Do this right. We're going to go into magician. Get three levels. That's easy. It's fast. And now we have Instant Slayer. Slayers, look at that lovely armor class. Um, oh wait, what am I doing? I have a specific place I go in here. No, cast. Apport Arcane. Uh, it is 11. 6. Minus 1. Oh! Okay, I have to stop by Roscoe's. Well, this is a gong show. Whee! Alright. Yeah, we'll recharge those spell points. Alright, try again. Apport Arcane, 11, 6, minus 1. Hide, use, defend. Okay, Thief, you gotta start making those checks, or you're gonna die. And there's the points I need. Climb up, Apport Arcane. Back out. Missing 95% checks is not encouraging. Spell acquiring. Hi, Ellie. Class change of blaze to wizard. Boom. Now. So there are four classes of spellcasters. Uh, Magician and Conjurer are your basic level ones. Yes, it is. Filling out a passport application is painful. Yeah. Uh, so four types of spellcaster. Conjurer and Magician are your starting level ones. Stairs down. Yeah, I'm going. Uh, we are going over here. We're going to do a bit of a grind. Gloves, not useful. Um, sometimes you just let the slayers do their work. Shield staff, yes, please, and thank you. Should 
climb the stairs, nope, and run away from that. And here's the fight here, 69 whites, nice. There we are. One white, let the slayers do their work. An unidentified arrow, that's not going to do me a lot of good. I'm going to have to do a trap zap here. So I can get in here. Because there's skeletons there. Now, all of these fights I'm doing here... Um, do you have a mental shield? You do not. All these fights I'm doing here are, sh are fights that do not regenerate. Um, after I leave. So, you know, I'm doing them once and once only, mainly so I can um, get some spell points, some more points on my wizard. An elf cloak, my goodness, I'm getting such a great distribution. Um, let's see where I'm going to go next. I'm going, I'm going to get the eye. Down here, there's a fight and a teleporter. I'm going to run away from the fight. We're not going to run away from the fight, apparently. Um, hmm. Sorcerers. Don't like sorcerers. Do I have anti magic? No, not on you. You have anti magic. Ah, sorcerers are too far away. Attack the Master Thief. Bard Song, then. Um, uh, Lucklaren. That's the one. Advance. Advance. And now lay into them. No. Attack. Use. There we go. And we're going to cast Scry Sight so I get my map back. I don't need my map, but it's... Like, I've got a map actually beside me, but um, it's much nicer to have. Those random encounters don't throw me off as much if the mini-map is up. Random encounter there, and here's a fight of 66 zombies. And we're going to go fight the first boss. Unidentified instrument. That could be another fire horn or a cold harp. Boom. Okay, this is anti-magic territory here. This is darkness. I'm going to cast trap sap. Take a step, cast another trap sap. Um, and then we're going to the back door, and then here's the fight. One specter, hide, let the uh, slayers do their work, and there's the eye. Alright, now I can just apport arcane the heck out of here. Away we go. Um, yeah. We'll grab some levels for the wizard. There we go. And the class change the wizard into a sorcerer. And that is the final class change we will see in this fight. Now we head for the Mad God. Our fi final class change we'll see in this game, rather. So we're missing a lot of spells. There are a lot of spells that don't show up in this particular run. Save before I go in there. Switch Bard Song to Lucklaren. Replace the Slayers, what got nuked. Restoration. Okay, now into Baron Baron Harkin's domain. Yep. Use my light wand so I can see what I'm doing. Cast Phase Door, which removes a wall. Get the Crystal Sword. Cast Nope. Apport Arcane. 
minus 3, minus 3, plus 3. Stairs up. Get the right bard song on, please. <laughs> Anti-magic square. There's a fight here. There's a trap right here, so we'll trap zap it. Smoke in my eyes is just annoying. Um, are you here to answer the riddle? Yeah, vampire. Get this, silver square. And then we will go to Kiliaran's tower, which means I need to apport arcane. It is one, minus one, plus one. And we fight the mad god, and I levitates. I hunger. The statue comes to life. Advance. Hide, defend. And it's done. And we get, oh, a fire mandolin. Nice. We get teleported over here. And we've got Kiliaran's Tower. We want... Yeah, still got smoke in our eyes, but that's okay. We need to go west. We need one, two. We need to step up here. We're going to get teleported. And darkness is here. Okay. I know my way through Kiliaran's Tower. There's an anti magic square there. We are teleported. We get to step. Te turn, step south. Turn to the west, to the wall. And here we type in Stone Golem. We get teleported. East to the west of the wall. Through the door. West to the wall, down, east, down, and here we go. If I don't do that, I don't get the door I need. Down. I'm gonna walk through here. Oh, I'm going to cast Scry Sight to get my map back. Right here. Through this door are dragons. If I get, if I don't get a run away from there, I can get killed real easy. I'm looking at a map now. Go up to here. Should be the silver triangle. Yeah. Turn around. Come back down. One. Turn. Turn. There we go. East to the wall. South to the wall. West. North. West one. North one. West two. South to the wall. Step out. Use the light one. Okay. Um, yep. Save. Now here's a little grind. The crystal golem does not stay dead if I don't kill it with the crystal sword I picked up earlier. So I can start looking for some items off this guy. And the Slayers, of course, have a critical hit ability, which means any time they hit a target, it dies. Mage Staff is nice. And defend. Take the chance. Adamant Scale. Okay, we're going to bail now. Alright, so we're going to go to... I think you can use the Adamant Scale, can't you? Nope. Well, you need the Crystal Sword on. And you, can you use the item skill? No, nope, it would be the first one on your list. You can use the mage staff, though. And that's nice. Uh, so we kick the slayers out, because we don't want them killing... Uh, the, killing the target. And then we've cast wizard wall three times. Uh, new order. Yeah. Hide, hide in the shadows. Now we buff. So, Seeker's Ballad to hit. Uh, buff spells. Um, phase Blur. Buff spells. Uh, Mage Gauntlets on Strum. Defend. Bard Song. Falcon Times Fury. Um, Mithril Might. Uh, what have I got here? Giant Strength. Attack, defend, cast restoration. There it is, there's the kill. Ag Zalos. And now it stays dead. And now we go to Strum, we change back to the Bard Sword. 
close that down. Make sure I'm going the right way. Well, this one, not the other one. Because the other one leads me... The other door leads me back to the entrance. You might have noticed Mr. Angry Skull up there has red eyes. Red glowing eyes means that um, there's something going on that's considered a curse, a negative. Um, in this particular case, it's the uh, inability to cast Phase Door or Apport Arcane anywhere in this tower. Now this is the Serpent. It's a big long winding corridor. Through that door is death. Through this door is not. <laughs> There's a ro rotator there. There's a teleporter in the corner. I gotta walk all the way around. And I get teleported here. And there's another nice winding passage here that takes me to Kiliaran. And then I will get the Onyx Key. And the Onyx Key is the only way to get into Mangar's Tower. And down the stairs. No, I don't want to take the stairs. I want to leave this area entirely. I want to kick out my wizard walls. I want to get my levels, which will be few. Strum will get one. Blaze will get a couple. Okay, now we go... Um, oh, Instant Slayer. Instant Slayer is the spell I want. Uh, we go and recover our magic points, please, and thank you. Death seems like a poor choice at this time. They might have noticed a little disparity between the two spellcasters. I haven't changed magic's class, and I have a reason for it. I'll explain it in a bit, but magic is still working as a magician, as you can see, and so hasn't got the uh, big boost of low le of, of cheap levels that, um, that Blaze got from being a, you know, a conjurer and then, so we order wine. It's the only place that sells wine. We have to go get it ourselves in the cellar. That's the joke. Uh, instead, we apport arcane minus, minus six, minus five, and then minus three to the end of the dungeon, which takes us here into the opposite corner of Scarabre and with the onyx the onyx key we can get in here. Okay, now we apport two, eleven, and one. Gives us the stairs. And now I need to I need my magic compass. That is not you that cast that, it's you that cast that. Go west to the wall. Turn around two, go north. We cast Trap Sap. Two should give me double darkness. Yep, yeah, turn around. Cast Trap Sap. Now I'm rotating. I'm on a spinner. Watch my, my compass move. I need to wait until I can go east. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, anti-magic, and here is the old man. Um, now I've got that. So long as the master key is equipped, spinners have no impact on me. So now I'm going to apport from there. I need to go 11, minus 6, and 1. Ah, went the wrong way. 11 minus 6 and minus 1. And I landed in the wrong place. Ah! I know why. Give me light for a sec. Run away. Go through that wall, please. Which way am I facing? Which way am I facing? I can't tell without my compass. There we go. Go north. One, two, go there. One, two, and these traps are going to be back. And there's an anti-magic square here, so my compass will vanish. One, two, three. 
turn south, door, other door, lie with passion, and be forever damned. Turn around. No. Okay. From there, from this spot, is where I cast my Aport Arcane, which is 11, minus 6, and minus 1. There we go. Now we're going to do a little grind. 6, 3, 97 hobbits hide in the shadows. Use that fire horn. <sighs> Unidentified boots, that's nice. Unidentified offhand could be a wand or a shield. Uh, it's 4 north. About 32 ghouls. Hide. Let the slayers do the work. Heal harp. Nice. Um, cast Aport Arcane. We're going minus 3, 0, minus 3, minus 1. Should be a bunch of mercenaries. They can't hit the slayers. They can't hit the slayers. Thief Dagger, thank you very much. That is a big find. That makes That is going to be used for most of the rest of this entire uh, disaster of a playthrough. Uh, shield Staff there, that's fine. Uh, we're going to use that light one to turn around. Going the wrong way. Uh, cast the phase door. There's a bunch of samurai there. Ah, that 100% chance to hide in shadows. Ali's carpet, frost drums. Good. Now we've got some. Now we got some stuff. Ali's carpet will go here, and we are going to leave here because we need to go visit Baron Harkin's domain again. So those gates that I passed through, um, the ones directly guarding um, the ones directly guarding Mangar's tower don't open unless you have the master key, which I do. Might as well take these out while I'm going. So here we go. We need to go Aport Arcane, and it is 5, 12, and 2. The Legions of Baron Harkin. All the Berserkers. Um, what do I have? And I've got to remember to watch my magic points so I don't outrun, outpace them there. They can't hit the Slayers. Um, in case this wasn't obvious, this is absolutely an experience grind. Uh, you're going to hold on to those magic points. I'm going to get more water. This is pretty much the only break I get in the entire run. Firehorn on the 12, and Star Flare on the C. All good. Adamant Dagger. Dayblade! Dayblade's good, too. <laughs> the room is filled with the body of dead berserkers. Oh, yeah, we've already done that. Okay. Minus 5, minus 12, minus 2. If I were playing on Legacy mode, I could fight those Berserkers again and again and again, but it we're not. And now we're going to swing by Roscoe's. 
on Grey Knife. Restore my spell points. Exit to town. Head back up this way. Claim my levels. Okay, so we now have basically our levels that we're going to use to go in to fight Mangar. Mangar is the goal of the first game. We have to beat him. Hi, Cat. What you want? You're not going to jump up here. Okay, now... Airport Arcane. Um, oh wait, I don't need to do it that way. I can do it this way. Which is good, because... Like I said, I'm ready to go. I have got massively good um, equipment. Kitty cam? No, I can't do that. I'm speed running. I can't stop to put up a kitty cam. Fight through here. Fight through here. Run away. And the stairs should be there. Yep. Craps out. We're going to make a little detour here to take on these ghouls. I don't think I can do that, though. Cat, get down. Truth drum. Hey, and we're gonna head right here. We're going to use that light wand again. Get teleported and make sure I keep my mini map up. Load. Forgot about that trap. Where am I? Okay. This is why I use the quick save. Get down! Still left one alive. Diamond Dagger, nice. So Diamond Dagger is a for no apparent reason, is a massive uh, armor class bonus. Teleport. Scry sight. Traps that, please, and thank you. Thank you. There's a spinner there, but I have the master key and I don't need to worry about it. Um, anyway. Yeah, right, uh, this game progresses in real time, so if I stand around long enough, I'm just getting attacked. Two dragons are sleeping. Thor, the greatest son of Odin, teleports. Let's draw a sight. And where are those? A one, two, trap set. Got them both. And this is the strangest little thing. It turns all the walls to doors and doors to walls. straight up this way. And through here, which you can't otherwise do, and we will use Ali's carpet to levitate, and up through the portal we go. This is the last floor. Gonna get hurt though. It's all right. Smoke in my eyes. It's just annoying. Step through. We get. Um, where am I? I'm there. Okay. You get a fight here. You get a fight here. We're in darkness. Now we get one of our characters gets possessed here. Good. It wasn't Blaze. Defend. Defend. Cast. Dispossess. 
or magic. Done. That fight is over. This fight, on the other hand... Oh my goodness, I didn't get away. Um, let's see what's going to happen here. Mangar's Mind Blade. Let's see if I can beat this. I don't know that I can. Load. 102 gimps. We'll get teleported stepping through there. We'll have the light wand, and I'll put my scry sight back up so I can see. Because it's easier for me to read the map here. And I've done this a few times, so I actually know my way around this bit. Don't want to take the secret door that time. Oh, I step out one, two, step down here, and we cast the traps out. And we go, where is it? One, two, three, turn up here, and walk to there, turn up here, walk to the wall, turn up here, go through this door. We're going to cast a restoration spell. Dive into the pool of boiling liquid. Walk through here. Run away from the specters. And we go into here. We're going to trap zap. And we're going to go... Oh, jeez, they didn't get away. I had one golem and a bunch of master magicians. Luck, Laren. Um, ooh, I could use Mage Maelstrom. Let's see if that'll work. Got him. Good. Hands pipes, good. I already did that. So turn here, cast a trap sap this way. One, two, turn north. One, two, turn north, turn east, north to the wall. Take a step, zap the trap. Get a fight here, run away, save. What binds the mightiest foes? I happen to know the answer to this. It's this Spectre Snare. Um, we will equip that. Thank you. And we're going to give it a shot. Here we go. Oh, back up. I meant to change my song. Okay, this is not going to be fun. This is this is the most horrible fight. It's just awful. Um, more luck, Laren, please. Um, I want uh, repel dead on the vampire lords, and I want ice storm on the demon lords. And okay, that did something anyway. Hide in the shadows. Traveler's Tune, we're not going to make it, like, everyone's going to die. Don't worry about that. Except for the thief who's hidden. Okay. It's actually not the worst outcome. It's it's going to get worse. Um, there. Okay. Now, the thief is hidden all the way up to 50, can attack Mangar directly. Boom. Hide. Hide in Shadows takes first priority in the list of things that happen. And when you attack from Hide, you get a critical hit. We are not opening that! <laughs> and that's Mangar. Kiliaran sends us back here, and uh, we start the second game. Actually, we're going to take this down here. We're going to heal our dudes. Actually, no, we're going to leave him. We're going to leave him alone. Here we go. Ah, stop that. Full power grant and transfer. Bard's Tale 2 begins here. This game is the fastest one. So in order to beat Lagos Zanta, we have to put back together... Since those guys are all dead, we don't actually need to... Um, need to do anything with them. We're going to buy a bunch of lamps. 
We're going to sell a bunch of stuff. We're going to identify a bunch of that, but that's okay. I'm taking my time because I don't want to sell anything I, I might want to keep. Mm -hmm. Hunter can use that, good. Crystal sword, the hunter can use that. Pans pipes. Okay, uh, I'm going to identify speed boots I want. Speed boots, which you might guess are useful if you're talking a speed run. Speed boots are... Uh, speed boots improve your chance to run away. So we're going to add Robin the Hunter to the party. We're going to equip Robin, the crystal sword, and the diamond helm for now. And... That's that. We're going to remove Robin again. Save. And we're going to go back here. We're going to sell the throw arrows, the harp. We're going to hold the bard sword, the day blade. We don't need the pierce shield. Wax liar, we're going to hold on to. Kale's axe can go away. The heal harp, we do not need. The pan pipes are extremely useful. Um, okay. We're going. Out we go. Into the Wilderness. This game has an overworld. And I'm going over here. And my map is... The map I'm using is, is poorly scaled because it's for the Apple version. So the Grey Crypt. Uh, this dungeon sucks. This dungeon is terrible and awful and wretchedly bad. So the whole dungeon is under an anti-magic aura. It's just, it's, it's really bad. So even if I had my other characters alive, there isn't a lot they could do to make this any better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ah, I hit the wrong spot. Did I mention this dungeon sucks? Uh, because it really does. It's the, it's the... The reason I get it done with first is because it has the most useful item in it. So yeah, um, my goal here is to, uh, in this game, we have to fight off Legoth Zanta, who's besieging the land of Kaith. And Zanta uh, can only be defeated by the Destiny Knight. After the fight, it's 1-2. That's why. And now the worst part is, I lose my... my map. The Destiny Knight has to put together the Royal Scepter, which was broken into seven pieces and hidden in these so-called Snares of Death. Here's another teleporter. I've been teleported. Go all the way down here. The Snares of Death... Um, no, they're, they're puzzles. So this is largely a puzzle game. One, two, five. One, two, three. One, two, turn. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three. Get down. One, two, three. Turn and through the wall. One, two. I'm going the wrong way. Y is one. And this one I can walk right until the end. 
because then I'm back out here, and I turn this way, follow the wall, I should get attacked. Right there, one, two, and I'm back at the first place I got teleported to. Hey, Retro. I think you'd like it. It's a good one. This is the 2018 remaster. And this is the second game in the series, the Destiny Knight. Uh, which way am I facing? I need to go this way? Yeah. Nope. Up here. There it is. Uh, through the wall. Run away. Should be going the right way. Uh, yes. Yes, in fact. Or, yeah, that's a noise that this dungeon makes sometimes. That's not where I want to be. I want to be here. The Tomb of the Dragon. Yeah. Vampire Dragon. I have to fight this guy. I'm going to get the cat down. Get down. Get. Thank you. We are not going to open that because we could die. Uh, here's the sixth snare. Now, unfortunately, I don't have... The map. I don't have, because I don't have any way to do scry sight. But this is the important thing. The spinner is gone. There was a spinner in the middle of these four right there. It's no longer there. And without any way to check where I'm facing, so the mage tells me I have to do this three times. Without any way to check where I'm facing, that spinner is just dangerous. I think you've got it. Now I've got to go talk to this guy in the blue. Sequence lost for who must now be found north. I think you've got it. If I step on any of these in the wrong order, they yell at me. It says, mistake! And then you've got to start again. So this is... I need to do number three, which is south here. These are timed puzzles. If I run out of time, my party gets annihilated. The number four is straight here. That's once around. I need to do number one. Yeah, if you want to see how much time you have, you can check Mr. Angry Skull at the top. And he'll tell you, like, 821 seconds. It's ticking down. It ticks down while you're in conversation. It ticks down while you're in combat. Not that there are any combats in this, in this one. But there are some that have combats, and you have to act quickly. Uh, now, again, like, these ones... When I played through the game not speedrunning, these challenges were fine. Like, they're a little bit intense. The beating heart is a bit much. Um, so it, it weighs on you a bit. They're a bit stressful, but there's lots of time to do them. There are a couple that are deliberately very tight, uh, especially if you don't know how to beat them. But because I know how to beat all of them, there's no chance that this timer is going to be a problem unless I screw up royally. What I was really hoping to pick up in the last game, which I didn't, was something called a Kale's Compass. Kale's Compass would... Oh, went the wrong way. Kale's Compass would uh, let me use Scry Sight even without a Spellcaster, so... Your skill is surprising, if not incredible. The greatest snare lies ahead, and after that, me. One segment six has been added. There's segment six. Good. Now I need to go up to Ephesus. I started in the town of Tangermain. Now I'm going to Eph Ephesus, or Ephesus. It's up here. And now... Leave me alone. Now I'm going over here. Yeah, heal the party, please. 50,000 to cure the... the uh, unfortunately afflicted. Um, 
Okay, now I need to go to the review board. Advancement. Oh wait, don't want to advance magic. Intelligence, okay. So one of the reasons, um, one of the reasons I'm doing this, no, I want intelligence. Uh, one of the reasons I saved the level ups for here is because in the first game, it will take one point of intelligence. Nope, nothing for magic. In the first game, your skills, your skills are limited to um, a total of 18 as a maximum. In this game, they're limited to 20. So I can get more intelligence. There, that's fine. some skill, thank you. And spell acquiring, no one can... Class change, blaze to archmage. Now we got a new one. Uh, we need to go down here. So archmage is a new class uh, for this game specifically. Blood sword. And strum. Go here, strum, approach the Scarlet Bard, buy magical tunes, the spell song. And that's what we need. Here's Roscoe. He looks different in this game. And this is the dungeon, the Temple of Darkness, the tombs. We need to apport arcane 10, 8, minus 1. Dude's going to give us a new master key. Because the old one's gone. It's one of the items that doesn't survive. Uh, then we need another apport arcane. It's plus 6, plus 2. Stairs down. I need to turn to face south, which is... This way? Nope. Nope. This is south. And... Walk these long corridors. And we go to snare number one. So here's that thumping again. We have 600 seconds to do this one. The first thing we need to do... Uh, don't drink yet. Get the old warrior. Allow it to join. Now we drink. Now we deal with this. Toxic Giant, allow it to join. He's not interested. Hide, attack. Just kill it. The torch exclamation point has been added to the party's stuff. And now we just take this back here. And that stops the heartbeat. Oh, yes, I can have magic equip one segment six. And use that. Boom. That's why I like one segment six. One segment six does a, f a full heal spell. And, you know, that's that. The old warrior can unequip that and be kicked from the party. We don't need that torch anymore. Out we go. Now we're... Back into Kaith in the forest. And we need to go over here where a battle took place. We inspect Ceridon's corpse. We get the Ward Stone. The Ward Stone will be equipped because it's nice. Go south till we hit a tree. No, we don't need to deal with you. And thanks to those uh, 
We're not going to Coloss yet. We're going down here. Thanks to those speed shoes, we're getting away from fights real easy. There's a tower over here, Fanscar's Tower. It's where we'll get one segment number two. This is another annoying place. Walk up here. So you may wonder what just happened there. Um, we hit a square of silence. I put on another song. Alright. Oh yeah, right. I have to do this. up this corridor, and here there's something called an Air of Malevolence. If I had any summoned creatures or any allies, they would attack me. Which is one reason I do this one here in the, in the order. Here we go. Fanscar. I think you're in trouble. We're not. Hide in the shadows. Use an equipped item. Oh, well, I would be less in trouble if I'd remembered to equip the Spectre. You know, we'll just load. The Spectre Snare is what I want for this. Or the Luck Laren. Here we go. A friend. Use the Spectre Snare at Fanscar. Now he's in my party. Look at that. Here's the snare. This one's easy. It's just you have to know where to go. One segment, two. That one's the shortest snare. Um, it's just a, a quick... Uh, a quick little... There we go. Um, which door is the right door? If you pick the wrong door, you burn. So someday when I do this game to 100% map completion, um, I'm going to have to go through that snare twice and burn twice. So we're here in Kolos. Now we reserve some of our party. What do we need to reserve? We are going to keep... Uh, we're going to reserve... So, oh, no, we can't do that just yet. We need to unequip one segment six from you and put it on you. We're going to reserve you. We're going to reserve... Um, oh, also while we're here, speed boots over to the bard, please. Uh, bard sword. No, Spectre snare. Uh, remove the thief. This is our party now. Remember where I gotta go. It's over here. Oh! <laughs> Oops. I also need the master key that magic was equipped with. Otherwise, I can't get in there. So, I honestly do know what I'm doing. Like, it... We've got... Do we have the light wand? Yeah, okay, good. 
than the Wardstone we can't equip right now. Yeah. It's okay. I'd rather have the Master Key equipped than the Wardstone. There. Now it opens. What's the first word? The first word is freeze. The second is please. Try the crevice. I'm going to use our last lamp. Just get it out of there. Um, I don't need to use the song right now. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. So to the wall, step out here. The final stair. So this is where stair seven is, by the way. The reality is, if any of these fights I fail to run away from, I'm going to lose. Even with Fanscar and his friend. Uh, the plan is near. Yeah, okay. Something odd. We've got teleported again. I sight, and I gotta make sure you go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, four. Turn this way. An anti magic square in front, but I believe I need to trap zap. And here's the stairs. Okay, now, I go in here. Look at the statue, it comes to life. A D'Artagnan. Spectre Snare. Defend. Fanscar got killed. We'll open the chest. Truth drum for it. Um, don't want to worry about... It. Actually, it's not hard. <laughs> Look at it. Came to life. A Death Adrian. A ring of accuracy. Neat. Grand of Elk. Spectre Snare. Defend. Zen Arrows. Um, sorry, a friend. You're out of here. Look at it. Fight. Use the Spectre Snare. Defend. Oh, it got killed. <laughs> and now this will take me up to the third floor. So the first thing we do uh, when we come in, we turn around. Should have gone the other way. Uh, not realizing which way I was facing. Eight. One, two, three, four, five. Where am I? Yeah, that's in the right spot. Four? Six? The heck? There. They're running the wrong way. The seventh. There's a reason for that. Make sure I'm ready to go. Yeah, uh, I need a spot in my party. Fanscar. Get out of here. All right. Yeah, we're going to go in there. Okay. Snare 7. The longest snare. It actually gives me a half an hour to solve this one. So we're going to start with Scry Sight. And we're going to use Bard Song of Wayland's Watch. Okay, we're, we can't actually use music in here. That's okay. So... Follow this wall. Oh, I got teleported. Once I do this once, should be at the wall. One, two, 
And we're not going to worry about that story. This is Zen Master. And turn around, run across. And now uh, I forgot to scry sight. I didn't try to cast phase where I cast scry sight. Thank you. That's why I keep the day blade around. Over here, the ring has been added to my inventory. He must equip the ring. And now we have these fun things. So you saw the seventh. As you go through, you will find, as you go through that, that uh, last floor, you'll find seven and we get teleported here. You find seven um, pathways. That was that would have been the first. It just directional arrows like that. Second loop. So, so, so west, west, west. East, east, south, south. East, east, west, north. East, east, north. And. Uh, they all they lead you through that maze. Every time you go through, the maze changes. If you were to try and brute force your way through that maze after trying to figure out these puzzles here, it would take a long time. Uh, and all the while, this heartbeat in your ears, west, south, east, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, north, eight, north, one, two, three, four, And yeah, you do have a half an hour to do this, but that time gets ticking pretty quick. Especially when you got to come through here, you got to enter storm fists every time. And you know, the first time through it, you're going to read that whole story, and you got to read it pretty closely. South, west, west, north, east, north. It's the shortest one. So you're going to have to deal with you know this very real feeling that you could die. And what's more, if you were playing this game in any of its original formats, you would not be able to save except at the Adventurer's Guild. So there is an Adventurer's Guild in town, but all the work you've done to get to this point would mean that um, you know everything you'd gained in this dungeon could be lost. One, two, three, four, north, three. But of course, the other catch is the game doesn't actually end when the party gets wiped out. You get sent back to the Adventurer's Guild, all dead, sure, but uh, one, two, what? Oh, south first, one, two, four, five, six. But there are temples, and out we go. And then, one segment seven, and we're out of here. Also got this party of really awesome guys. What's the party going to cost me to heal up? Now I need to go out of Coloss. Go around here, and we need to get the item of Kazdek.
We'll need that later. And we'll go to Thessalonica. Now, I don't know how many of you might be familiar uh, with any sort of biblical stuff, but uh, what might seem interesting uh, is it 1 minus 1 minus 1. Press button 3, exit. This is the bottom floor. Um, other than Tangramain, where you start the game, all of these uh, all of these cities are ones that are mentioned uh, as places that Paul wrote letters to in the Bible. So, yeah, I don't know if that's of any interest to anyone. I just know that because of my work. You might have noticed that Blaze is regaining magic points. Um, that's because of the mage staff she's carrying. We're going to get a better one later. We'll get a couple conjure staffs. Conjure staffs. Um, instead, uh, conjure staffs will um, have the cost of everything. Okay, here's this this snare. Greetings again, you potential corpses. I think that's how I'm gonna, you know, that's how I'm gonna start every, you know, as, greetings again, potential corpses. We need that clue, or we can't actually solve this puzzle. The game won't let us solve the puzzle. If we don't have that clue, it will tell you that if you try to try to uh, do the thing, it will say you can't possibly know that. Okay, here we go. <laughs> it actually flags that. It says doing something up to five times is endurable, but anything more than that is madness. So he gives me the vial. The master alchemist appears, gives me the vial. And then we go into darkness here. Turn around and talk this. The valuable value of rote actions, they are endurable. And we go back, you know, he's thirsty, so we gave him the vial. I need to remember to equip Strum with the Bard Sword again. Walk up to there, turn around. Pan pipes provide light uh, with no limit. I don't really need the day blade given that, as long as I hold on to the pan pipes. And yeah, I'm walking over a spinner there. But because I'm equipped with the master key, the spinner doesn't bother me. good, because otherwise they can be extremely frustrating. This, by the way, is one of the tightest timers. Um, this one very nearly got me when it was, when I was playing, doing my, my first playthrough of it. Anti-magic does not affect items, which is how I can still use things like the pan pipes or um, the wand segment. I don't actually need to light it up. I've got a map. It's just easier. Make sure I don't go the wrong way, and then I don't have to listen for footsteps. Stop that. So that's entirely timing. Triggers like um, hit point drain and spell point drain triggers all are based on timing. I have not been properly updating my splits. Oh, 
Oh, that's one segment four. Segment four. There we go. I'm ahead. That's cool. Now I need to go from Thessalonica to Philippi. I think playing a big horn out in the wilderness would drive the uh, birds away, but no, here we are. So the first thing we need here is Ceridon's harmonic staff. Ceridon was the guy who wrote us the letter that got us here, and we got the ward stone off his dead body. Now this is a complex and irritating teleporter maze that I have yet to actually properly figure out. Why is he giving me phase blur? Weird. There we go. And over here we find the harmonic staff. Using the harmonic staff as an item replenishes a spellcaster's spell points. That is going to be 100% absolutely necessary for us to beat this game, and it will be very handy in the next one, though not as necessary. And now... We need to go into Dargoth's Tower. Get one segment three. Uh, six, two, two. Speak the three in sequence. They are Earth, Compassed, Fountain. Uh, go through this door. And up here, and there's the portal. I need to cast Levitation. Not everything has two sides. So the reason he says not everything has two sides is because there's a maze of one-way walls up here. It's obnoxious. We're also looking for ten hints to ten words that we need to, to put in to get to the snare. Um, the fact is, I know what the words are. Well, I don't know what the words are. I have them written down. For three, you see, you cannot be free. So that's a clue for the word slave. Um... It's not a good puzzle. It's actually a really bad one. One, two, three, turn north. One, two, three, turn. One, two, turn. One, two, three, four, turn. This should be stairs up, yes. Okay, and we're still in darkness. Turn. One, two, should be at the wall. One, two, should come through. Door. Yep. Okay. And over here. Step through here, through there, down two, three. And then one, two out here. Through here. And so speak the ten in sequence. They are water, lie, slave, gold. Hate, rooster, large, early, bard, and women. Okay, uh, we're being teleported. Here's the third spectre snare. The, here's the third snare. So we go down one, two, go over here. A voice is heard laughing. Good. I got the dagger! Exclamation point. Okay, so I'm... Uh, where am I? 
And that's it. One segment three. Out we go. Exit the room. And we need to go get segment five, so we're going to head to Corinth and Oswan's Fortress. We're going to take a quick stop here and recover my magic points. It's not much, but it's a good just in case. Now, if only I could grab songs from the next game for this one, because, uh, oh, I'm going the wrong way. I need to read my map better. In the next game, there's the safety song. The safety song prevents all encounters. It's just nice. It's basically designed for speedrunning. So Oscon's Fortress. Oscon's Fortress is at the north part of this town. Go away. I don't need your blood. Can't get in that door without the master key, and without the item of Kazdak, the stairway does not appear. So we're going to immediately afford Arcane. It is minus one, plus uh, zero, one stairs up. Take them up. And then we're going... S we're going to use some pipes here. You're going to see the word tripwire appear right here. If we don't get out of that corridor within ten seconds, we die. The game does warn us of this. It's not like it just suddenly throws tripwires at us. Those speed boots are doing lots of work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we've got another dark maze. We're just going to plow right through. And here we go. Say it to ascend. The word is... Okay, how come my brain is not working on this? Ah, uh, the word is... Oh, brain has stopped. I've got to, got to look it up. I'll get there, don't worry. I'm getting there. That's it. Got it. Okay. The word is still. <laughs> we'll just plow through here. One step, turn north, and use those pan pipes. And let's make sure I can see what's going on there. Okay. All right. Um... For some reason, the word is still is not written down in my notes. Even though I know I need that. Stairs going up. If I don't say, if I don't get the word is still, if I don't say still, then those stairs don't appear. Anti-magic and spinners, anti-magic and spinners. Turn, turn. So anti-magic has a nasty habit. Well, I mean, it turns off your your um, compass, which I don't have on because I've got the mini map and I've got the I've got the master key equipped. I don't need a compass. I know that I'm not being turned around. Cool dudes. Turn this way. Cast traps at please. One, two, three. Turn south. One, two, three, four. Turn this way. One, two, three. Turn. I think I need to trap set again. No, I don't need to trap set again. Run away. Handpipes. 
Okay, and here's where we find snare number five. So the first thing we do, find the door, thank you. Uh, we go head straight out the door. Rock. Uh, follow the corridor to the right. Say scissor. Out goes the basilisk. Uh, follow the right hand wall all the way around. Paper. Um, you see a theme. So we're going to arrange with the top party. They are rock, paper, scissor. And it's this one here that will open it up. And walk clockwise this way. Oh, no, counterclockwise. Where am I? Nope, that's the wrong one. Is this the right one? Nope, that's definitely the wrong one. If, again, this is another one. If I take the wrong door, I die. There. Oh, I'm still in an anti-magic spot. That's why. I should know better. Now, the last thing to do, exit the room. We will use one segment seven to fill up my party with Kringle Brothers. And the last thing that needs to be done is take on Lego Santa. But first, I need to reassemble the wand. The set at the um, it's not a wand; it's the scepter. So I need to equip the harmonic staff. I need to um, yeah, the harmonic staff. Yeah, the ward stone. Uh, we'll go to strum. We'll give a better weapon than the fire horn. We'll give the frost drums. Uh, specter snare is equipped. Nope. We get the specter snare on. There we go. And I think that's going to be what we're going to go in with. It'd be great if Strum could survive this, but probably won't. Uh, Quick save, and anything else I need to do? Approach the altar with Blaze. The One of Legend. So now we've got a Scepter. An offhand. Only usable by an Archmage, which is the only reason that we changed Blaze's class. And... Yeah, we're good to go. Here we go. The Destiny Knight. The Destiny Knight cannot be killed by reducing their hit points to zero. Every time uh, their hit points hit zero, they lose two magic points. That's it. Okay. Bard Song. Strum. Spell Song, please. Uh, luckily, um... Use the scepter on the uh, the Balder guards. Yep. Use the scepter on the Balder guards. So this is this is the fight now. Nope. <laughs> this is it from the Boulder Guards. Good. One left. That's great.
use the scepter on the boulder guards. Now, use the scepter on Legos Zanta. Nope. So yeah, Blaze just got whacked for 600 points of damage, but didn't die. In fact, all, all that happened was she lost two magic points. There goes Lego Santa. No, we don't need to use that. Now, if her magic points ever run out, she dies. And that's that. And on to the Thief of Fate with a full power transfer. All right, Volume 3, The Thief of Fate. Put our party back together, including Robin. Now, enter the wilderness. Uh, first thing we need to do is go over here and buy some wineskins. We actually only need to buy one. Don't need to deal with a hedge lizard, which I think is a funny title. And here is Scarabre, the same town we spent the first game in. It's been a little destroyed. So we're going to take all this stuff. We're going to go to Robin. We're going to give her some equipment. Wine skin. Wine skin. Sword sword. You can use the Spectre Snare. Harmonic gem in your hand. Light one. Okay. Light one in your hand, born the harmonic gem. Um, back the mage staff. Harmonic staff we can hold on to for now. And I'm going to start pitching stuff. Because this game does not have any way to purchase equipment. There is no one in the game who buys or sells equipment. It's an interesting conundrum. Lord gem, your hand. Okay, yeah. We're good to go. We need to step out here, because I don't have... Actually, no. So imagine, if you will, a game, a role-playing game that was put together in the early 80s called The Bard's Tale. And it was rather revolutionary. And you are there. That is not what I want. You're here. Um, oh, Robin is not able to talk to him, because Robin is not alive. All right. Um, advancement. Oh, there we go. Rogue, Hunter, Bard, Archmage, Magician. This plays Kringle. There we go. 
So then they come back and they redefine a lot of what makes a role-playing game what it is, or this sort of role-playing game what it is. Simply by removing things like the ability to buy things. <laughs> okay, we're down here on the fourth floor. We need to go up. Two, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, one, two, one, two. Okay, we'll go up here on around the edge. We should get a fight. I forgot to go get my songs. Okay, that's fine. We'll deal with that. Uh, get a fight here. Darkness. Fight there. Scooch my way right up there. Step over here. Now we need to bard song, spell song. We're going to kick out one of those Kringle brothers. Save. That's Blaze. Let's drum and pipes, please. Okay, and wish me luck. Here we go. Real hasty up charge. Fight bravely. Hide in the shadows. Use an equipped item. The Spectre Snare at Brill Hasty. Bard song. Traveler's Tune. Um, what are we going to do? We're going to throw a little Night Lance at the Dark Guards, and a bit of Ice Storm at the Dark Guards. I got me a Brill Hasty. Look at that. Yep, I just mind-controlled the enemy general. You can do that in this game. Night Lance, Ice Storm, and we're out of here. Real Hasty at the top. Save, because we're all going to get a bunch of levels. And what I need to see is Robin with high intelligence and... I'm not seeing high intelligence on the guys I want to see high intelligence on. I'm going to do it again. No. That's good. 24 is fine. Good. Fantastic. We're there. All right. So, um, yeah, it just gave us a bunch of levels. And... Um, Class change Blaze into the Chronomancer. So Chronomancer loses all spells that they had before. Now we're sent on a job. We're sent to get um, the bow, the uh, arrows of life, and Valerian's bow from Arborea. Ah, no, 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 no. Again, I almost forgot to go get my songs. Because I made a stop there the first time, but Robin was not alive. Or not Robin, Strum was not alive. Where am I going? Honestly, I know what I'm doing. It's actually, the problem is it's so rare that I get a chance to do a full run. Because of the way my life works. Uh, Strum. Teach me a song. I want Sir Robin's tune. Do, 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 do. Safety song. You'll hear the safety song a lot. Um, and they march. And that's what we need. Great. So, safety song. Safety Song avoids all random encounters. Every last one. The only fights I can get into at this moment are, are uh, story fights.
This was absolutely made for speedrunning. And now we cast... Uh, nope, wrong one. Happort Avoria. Hi, Hawkslayer. So, first thing we do, we're going to come over here. That's not where we go, we go over here. Yep, beneath the waves of the lake. We'll go underwater. Atport Arcane, 1 3. The nature of the life spring. Okay, Scrum, get some water. enough. Yep. Up we go. That's the whole point, to get water of life. We're going to go straight down here. Let's turn aside here because we need to get an acorn. Because we need to go into this tower. Yep. And we apport again. Straight up to, I'm not take the stairs going down, an acorn sized hole in the ground. And then we got a water. And it lifts the thing up that was in my way, stairs up. And then we go up here. It's a spell point regenerating spot. We should get a fight there, but there isn't one. It's now silent. Uh, bard song. Safety song. It's a spinner there. Darkness, fight there. Ah, I made a mistake there. Which way am I facing? I'm stepping on spinner. There we go. Ouch. Yes, traps out. And we got the Night Spear, which we will need for the next dungeon. We need to head to the Festering Pit, which is basically straight over here. See it festering? Look at it fester. And we don't actually have to go through this. Uh, we just have to fight Salatha Garnoth. Um, attack. Open. And if you don't have the Night Spear, Salatha comes back to life, but you just have to have the Night Spear. You don't actually have to hit him with it. So we get his head and his heart. Uh, we haven't been told to get them yet, but the king here in uh, Sierra Bernaya, uh, the king would like Salatha's head. And if we don't get Salatha's head, we can't go into the Sacred Grove. Those, the Night Spear. Um, it's going to be your standard weapon. And where am I going now? This is sticky. So we're going to use the heart. And we're going to use a little water of life. Got Valerian's bow and the arrows of life. That's what we came here for. Go away. Let's go back out the way we came in. And the Arborea quest is almost complete. It'll be complete when I take them back to uh, the old man at the review board. Got 
some arafolia, which I'll need later. Here's where we go. That's Blaze, Roditus arborea. Hawk Slayer stays behind because he likes it there. And then we head back up here to Scarabray. gives us some experience points, he re-energizes the magic users, and we're going to spend a little time scumming for some experience. Yeah, we need some intelligence on that hunter. Not luck in constitution, I need intelligence. No! There's a reason for this. No. You don't need strength. You're a hunter. <laughs> just kill things. So, you see, a hunter has a critical hit skill. Critical hits in this game are just instant kills. There's some intelligence. Thank you. Intelligence for magic as well. Yeah, good. Yep. Yeah. Spell acquiring. Good. There's some big spells. All right. And talk to the old man. We need to go get the Sphere of Lanatir and the Wand of Power from Gelidia. Gelidia is a cold place. Very cold. Cold enough that if you walk around outside, you didn't take damage from the cold. So we got to come up here to the northern peaks in the wilderness. To this spot, Cold Peak. And we need to apport to Lydia. And then it's we walk five to the east. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Oh, we can just keep going this way. Mr. Angry Skull up there is counting steps until we start freezing. Freezing in one move. There we go. Yep. Ice keep. Now, we start here with a phase door. Right through here. We've got these lovely little puzzles. Wolf to say hunger. Hunger. Wind Hero, uh, Force Focus, and Invisibility. Yeah, we'll take the passage, quick save. And then, this is the tricky one. So we're going to change our song to Spell Song. We're going to Apport Arcane, and the Apport is minus zero, minus two, plus three. And here's the fight. Oops. Can't have the thief die. Uh, so we're going to actually cast a heal. Uh, no restoration, thank you. Seven Grey Wizards in the Grey Tower. Uh, Night Spear, thank you. Bard Song, Laclaren. And we're going to throw out some Rhyme Fang, uh, Nightlands, yeah, Nightlands, and um, Godfire. Real hasty summoned a greater demon. Thank you. That's so much useful than just about anything else you might have done, which I'm, you know, lying about. Um, Spell Song, Night Lance, Godfire, go. This is a problem. Hide in the shadows. Uh, use the Night Spear, please. Throw it and kill something, would you? Laclaren, and cast Heal All. I'd really appreciate you actually, like, doing your job. Um, McLaren, uh, Spell Song. Restoration. And cast Godfire. Oh. 
hide the shadows. We'll use the Knight Spear. Um, Claren, kick the dead monster. Go on fire. Use the Knight Spear. Claren, defend. Rock Champ, please. Hide. Uh, ranged attack. Uh, Sir Robin's tomb. No, that's not, uh, not what I need here. I need Butter Kiln Fest to start recovering some points. Well, thank you for advancing instead of actually doing something like throwing spells at me. I appreciate that. Uh, no, Butter Kiln Fest. Defend and Godfire. Hide, ranged attack. Declare, uh, Butter Kiln Fest. Defend, defend. Real Hasty cast Far Death. Thank you. That's what I want you doing. Down to one. And that's that. Divine Halberd and the Smoky Legs, which is what we're here for. We do not need a Divine Halberd. We don't have a Paladin. Okay, so that's the Great Tower. We are going to Atport 2, which is just minus 1 there. Okay, we're going to take a small break and let my magic points recover a little bit. Notice Blazes are recovering at two a tick rather than just one. That is because Blaze has the Wage Staff. Lift the Veil, Levitate. Anti-Magic. Phase Door. No. And while they're recovering some magic points, I'm going to get some water. Welcome to my kitchen. go. So the white wizards are next. Uh, four and three. Just teleport right to them. White wizards are annoying. Ranged attack. Bard's Song La Claren. Uh, we are going to cast a preclusion. And our death. They advanced. I'm not sure why they would do that, but here we are. Uh, McLaren. What am I doing with Godfire? Why am I not just throwing Wither Fist? Hide, attack, attack. You don't really need to worry about it. Attack, attack, attack. Okay. So the first spell I used called Preclusion. Um, I don't know if you, if how closely you're able to watch the uh, the things happening in the battle, uh, the battle notes there. But uh, Preclusion prevents the enemy from summoning, and prevents my guys from summoning, prevents everyone from summoning spells. Um, So uh, they tried to summon stuff. I didn't let them. <laughs> That's the long and short of it. We're going to recover a bit. And then we're going to... Because I don't have a spot to recover in the next one. I'm just going to take a second here. Stretch my fingers. Drink my water. Apport Arcane. Uh, it is... Just one north. Go back tower. We've got a lot of spells to cast here. Bright light. 
of thunder. Spawned. And in we go. Three and three. There's a fight here first, and then the black wizards show up. These guys are a pain. So McLaren, cast preclusion, please, and fire. Someone petrified Bill Hasty. That's annoying. Hide, ranged attack, bard song. Uh, spell song restoration. And you don't have a summoning spell. That's first. Hide, range, bard song, McLaren. They advanced, okay. Um, what's the Archmage? Oh, it doesn't have Brother's Pingle yet. Um, Herb! Let's call Herb! They're still advancing. They got a slayer through my... Um, that's as bad as it sounds. <laughs> it's not good. This is why I save. Um, no, flush the stone, please. Let's go. Stone to flush, yeah. Uh, let's get Robin back. Can't you stop doing that? Okay, I'm gonna load. Gotta load. Ranged attack, bard song, luck lion, cast preclusion. It's expensive, but we need it. Really need them to not do that. Attack the slayer. Um, Stone to flesh, Robin. Don't have a grave robber yet. Hide. Bard song. McLaren. Cast beyond. Ah, no, let's just cast heal. Lock chant again. Hide. Bard song. Bard songs will get much. They're already very useful. They'll get even more useful in a little bit. Um, we've got to preserve your magic points. So, yours on the other hand, don't care so much about. I'm okay with Brill Hasty being dead at the moment. That was a critical hit. I like it. I need to get the archers to go with that. That's that's what I need. The Slayer again. Hmm. Godfire. What am I doing? I've got. Uh, I can do death strike. Fire and rage attack. Oh, good. Please come closer. Come closer. Yeah, I can't. Like, I can't be trying to save my points on this, really.
Seekers Ballad. Night Lance, Blood Fire, Rage Attack. Thank you, Robin. You did a good job there. Seeking spells. Nope. Oh, good. Please come closer. Come closer. Don't put a Slayer up. That's annoying. Yeah, it's too expensive. It's your harmonic gem. That should pretty much do it right there. Thank you. Diamond scale. And drop down to here. Backport to Arcane, what's the number? Minus one, minus six. We use the lenses we got. Can you use what adamant bracers have got? Diamond scale. Yeah. Uh, adamant bracers, please. Yeah. song, switch to safety song. We'll lose our light. We're standing on spinners. Smoke in my eyes. Stairs going down. I need to turn on south. I need to cast the trap zap. Real Hassie turns hostile, but it doesn't matter because he's dead. Smoke in my eyes. My points are recovering. We're again in Spinner Town. And we step through that door. Hit points are being recovered, that's fine. And here's Line of Tears 2, we get the Wand of Power and the Sphere. Everything is cool. And up we go. Upward Arcane our way out of here. Straight north. Roditus Janidia. And we're back here. Mm -hmm. Back to Scarabray. And it sets us on Lucentia. Robin, I need some intelligence. It's good. Okay, yeah, we're good. Intelligence for magic, yes please and thank you. Spell acquisition, Brothers Kringle, and no, Blaze, Identifying Youth, Force of Tarjan, and Grave Robber. 
Force of Tarjan is a, du a dual spell. It casts Sandstorm to push enemies back uh, 60 feet and casts uh, Wither Fist to do a bunch of damage to them, too. So Lucencia is over at the Crystal Fountain over here. Okay, so now, the first thing we need is the White Rose. The White Rose is over here. No, we're good. We need one. One's fine. We're going to go up to the Violet Mountain. Uh, we're going to face east. Cast Aport Arcane. We're going minus six east and up one. Smoke in my eyes. I'm going to challenge the Rainbow Dragon. Uh, we're not going to challenge him. We're going to change my equipment first, then challenge the Rainbow Dragon, because Robin can swap in the Spectre Snare and make this real easy. Hide in the shadows. Use the Spectre Snare. Blood Song of Claren. Defend. <sighs> Brill Hasty. That was not nice. Oh, forgot to switch my equipment again. Fight, hide, use the Spectre Snare. Real hasty! Mm. Got him. There's the crystal key. Uh, we're going to boot Brillhasty because he has outlived his usefulness. Okay, now from here we're going down here. We'll go in this building later, but first we need to get Red Rose. And then we're coming into here. The decrepit tower. Without the crystal key, you can't get in here. But we need to be in here. And you're teleported. On a spinner. Stop spinning me. Stop spinning me, bro. Come on. I just want to go that way. Uh, we're going to lose our light. Drop that. Music goes off here. Music comes back, or spell points come back up. Um, bard song. Safety. Smoke in my eyes. Hit point drain. Anti magic, anti magic, and Rainbow Dragon attacks me. Hide in the shadows. Defend. Bard Song Luck Laren. Defend, cast Far Death on the Rainbow Dragon. Yep. Party attack the Rainbow Dragon. Defend, defend, defend. We're going to try Far Death again. There we go. That's fine. Everything is fine. I'm going to hold on to that Rainbow Dragon for a while. Second floor. Spell point recovery. Put the safety song back on. Hit point recovery. We'll take a second. We'll recover. Up the stairs, turn around. It's 
So, we're here to get Illyria's belt. My spell points are draining. Bard song, safety. My spell points are recovering. Hit points are draining. Hit points are recovering. And Cyanus is here. Now he's been driven crazy. So I need to cast a spell that cures insanity. And then we get the magic triangle. If you hang out there long enough and can't figure out the answer to the puzzle, Cyanus will just attack you. And yeah, we have to walk through this. There's no the the game doesn't let you teleport in this place, which is spell points recovery, please. Magic, but I can still go here and use pen pens. Hit point drain, smoke in my eyes. Get rid of that smoke in my eyes. There's a trap there. Spell point drain, darkness, hit point recovery. Okay, use the pandex. Get stuck here. I get turned. There were fights here, but we're playing the safety song. We get teleported, and there's our way out. And now we're going from there. Across to here, and I realized I forgot forgot the important thing in the the Violet Mountain. Yeah, I got the dragon with me, but uh, the dragon's there. Despite the fact the dragon is with me, the dragon is lying there, and you know blood. We're just going to collect some of the blood. Grimly. What am I doing? So we've got one last rose bush to go to. It doesn't have any roses on it. It does now. We get the rainbow rose. And now we should have all four roses. We'll take a quick stop. One, two, three, four, five. All five roses. Did I miss one? Got that one? Yep. Yeah. One, two, three. Be faster to check my inventory, wouldn't it? Yeah, I missed one. It's right here. I'm having a time. Here's Illyria's tomb. <laughs> so this part, that door separates the outer part of the tomb, which is fine, from the inner part of the tomb, which is creepy. side of this wall there. Magic goes out, our song goes out. This would be a malevolent square as well. 
and we need uh, only a bard can use the magic triangle. We go up the stairs. And now, what do I need to do here? Okay, we just need to go. She wants the flower of truth. Use the order white. The flower of truth is the white rose. If you give her the wrong rose, she'll take it, but she won't get out of your way. Oh. Ah! <laughs> want the flower of valor. So, what does she want? She wants the blue. Oh yeah, wait, crabs. I don't know why it is that tombs are always so full of traps. Or the flower of kinship, which is the red rose. Next one, the flower of nature, which is the yellow. When you get teleported, you lose your you lose your map, which is why I keep throwing scry sight up to get it back. Hey, we're getting there. Last one wants the flower of Illyria. And that is the Rainbow Rose. And we get the Crown of Truth and the Belt of Illyria, which is what we were sent to get. Oh, we want to go into, uh, into here. Because we want to get... I need to learn where these things are. Here we go. The Bard's Hall. Listen to the Bard. Kiel's Overture. Yes, please, and thank you. That will be very useful. Kiel's Overture has two effects. Uh, if I use it outside of combat, it will... Uh, yeah, I want to learn Divine Intervention. Uh, if I use it outside of combat, it will um, put up the compass, Kiel's Compass. If I use it in combat, it will cast a trebuchet spell, which does a heck of a lot of damage to all targets. So, I no longer need the frost drums. Let's put the pan pipes on. Reditus Lucentia. We'll go talk to the old man, and then we'll go to Kinestia. And in Kinestia, Robin will become a geomancer. Let's see if we can get a couple points of intelligence on her here. Yeah, okay, that's good. Fantastic. There's the last spells we need to ever get till we have a Geomancer. And we go, oh, forgot to mark that. So, Canestia, I need to go all the way down here to the old Dwarven Mines. Port Kinestia. And here, we're just going to make an absolute mockery of this place. We're just going to blink around. And 
There's the right key. So this is a great big uh, mechanized place. Eight minus one. Left key. Minus one, one. There we go. And then it's six and minus four. Since I don't have a no spin ring, we'll use the left key 15 turns. Use the right key 18 turns. And then we descend into Ermax Paradise. So yes, Urmek, as in first robot, is where we're going here. Through the open path of viscous pubbling, you know, the color of pine pitch. We need to be able to breathe in this nonsense. square, but I'm not worried about that because my only thing that could be malevolent is dead. Opening in the ceiling up to a new area. Swim up to it. So here's Ermac. Yes, accommodate. Whoops. <laughs> Glad I saved. No, we accommodate him. So we need to come in here, we need to get Ferrofist Helm and the Hammer of Wrath, and then it'll be a Geomancer. Boom. Robin is now a Geomancer, and we need to give them a better weapon. Oh, we use the Divine Halberd. And also the Harmonic Staff, which we will be needing. Trothlands? Trothlands. Okay. And we gotta walk a lot of the way out of here. Till we get back in here. Then we can skip from the viscous plane to the workshop. And skip from Pharaoh Fist's fortress straight out. Reditus Kinestia, and away we go. So again, it's a it's a game about puzzles and exploration. You can trivialize a lot of it when you don't have to do the puzzles and the exploring. Now, I have to grind. And I need money, too. So the first thing we're going to do is talk to this lovely gentleman here. Yes, thank you. And that's why I played for Intelligence for Robin. Look at those spell points. 108 spell points. Okay. Now, we're going to grind a bit. We need some money. We need some experience. The best place to grind is Chaos 4. Which is this. Oh wait, why am I doing that? I could just do it this way. Okay, go away. Sit down. Oh yeah. Oh, what am I doing? I have to stop that song. Um, I 
can't get into fights with that song on. Fight, hide, defend, bard song, kills overture. And that's what Keel's Overture is good for. Uh, let's put Strum at the front just for this bit. Okay, we'll end here. These are hit point drains, it's fine. Also looking for stuff. Shock harp is not what we're looking for. Neat as it sounds. you, like, just stop being alive? Okay, there's traps there, yeah. A ring of power. Staff. It's not a conjure staff, though. Yeah, that was a bulldozer figurine. not finding the stuff I want. Hey, what do we got here? Stone blade, that is something I want. Okay. Stone blade, please. Thank you. Um, so there's... nope, don't need any arrows. Back to the thief. Good. Alley's carpet, good. A better one. Uh, we don't need the mithril bracers, I don't think. Probably use them here. Come on, gems, yada yada yada, for bracers. Oh, that's Robin. <laughs> you could use them. The bracers. Um, Ring of power. 
Into the robes. Slayer figurine. Thor figurine. Um, Adam and Helm. Those bulldozer figurine. Don't need the canteen. Divine halberd. Uh, no, we don't need that. Stone blade is good. It just kills things. Shield staff instead of shield staff. Mage staff. There. Youth potion we'll keep. Crystal key we don't need, but we can't get rid of those things. Don't need the crystal sword. Firehorn, the Frost Drum is better. We've got a Bard Sword. You don't need the Lax Lyre. You don't need the Magic Triangle. Yeah, feeling too important to throw away. Shock Harp. Spectre Snare we'll hold on to. You don't need the Scale Armor. Night Spear. Hmm. Okay. Smoke in my eyes. I'm do this again. Aram's knife and a dragon figurine. Unidentified offhand thief. Herb figurine. Go away. Luck shield. Yes, please, and thank you. Arum's knife, knife is a nice ranged weapon for that damage, but it's not what we need it for. No magic eaters present. Ah, fuzz. Shoot. Magic eaters are too much pain in the neck. Breath ring, that's nice. <laughs> Bard bow and a dragon wand. Yeah, 
getting close to the amount of money we need. A no spin ring. Yes, please and thank you. Yes, 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 yes. Does exactly what it sounds like. No spin. Uh, breath ring will put on blaze. Boots already got one. I told them we already got one. I'm running into a little problem that comes up when you're doing long speed runs, and that I need a quick bio break. So I am going to have to take one and just accept it. So here, dragon wand not useful. Night spear can't get rid of. Trick brick definitely not useful. Well, an identified container not going to be useful. Okay, and I'm going to take a quick bio break. I will be right back. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Okay. Back to it. Diamond Helm. Got Diamond Helm equipped. Can you use the Diamond Helm? Nope. Who can? Where you 100 Geomancer? Gone. Just the truth drum. Don't need. No gems. Some arms knife. Just get the bigger one. Soothing Balm. No, don't need that. Okay. How much experience do we have, Robin? Not there yet. So, we're going to keep doing the grind. We are looking for an experience threshold here. Death Ring. Not as useful as it sounds.
Adamant plate. We'll worry about that once I'm not standing on deadly ground here. Uh, adamant plate. Yeah, okay. Oh, Angra's Eye, nice. Brothers for Green, don't need. Um, adamant plate, please and thank you. Ditch the plate armor. I should probably get to the experience threshold I need. Flame horn, nice. I'm on a gem. Unidentified weapon, could be good. All kinds of things. Okay, we got an unidentified weapon. Another arms knife. Don't need the death ring. Flamehorn frost drums, good. Can't use the pure shield. So if you look in my splits, later on you'll see one that says Earth Maw. That's what I'm grinding towards right now, actually. So... Earth Maw is a big spell for the Geomancer, and it is... Uh, basically necessary. Um, it's an instant kill of a group. The, the uh, theory being the earth just opens up in a giant maw and eats um, whatever is causing problems. Okay, what do we got? We got the money. Money is covered. Diamond shield. Better than mithril. Yes. Who news? Yep. Okay. Sure. Put it up there. Staff of lore is very helpful, but it's not what I'm looking for. Mithril shield. Not as good as luck shield. Wand. If the shields can go away, and there's staff of lore. Very useful, and we will keep it around. What do we got here still? Dayblade, we do not need. Aram's knife. Uh, with that range on it. We've got to keep, we've got to keep that around. Uh, okay. Now, uh, what's your experience, Robin? Not there yet. Okay. One more, one more run through. Hopefully we'll get a couple Conjure Staffs here.
That staff of lore will be very useful for uh, for Robin uh, to get to have something to do later on. Unidentified offhand could be a bunch of useful things. Deadly Rang. Don't think anyone can use that at the moment. No. You don't count as a melee. Yeah, no. So basically, Earth Maw um, is going to be extremely useful if I can get to it. Like, I won't have it right away. I've still got to get the experience bonus for doing Tenebrosia. Song Axe, nice. An upgrade to that Bard Sword. Molten horn. It'd be hard to play. Speedboot, Thief Dagger, and Death Ring. Two of those I've got. One of them I don't need. Okay, let's go through this again. Molten horn. Don't need the thief dagger. Don't need the yeah. Don't need the flame knife. Don't want the flame knife. Could be cool, but we don't need it. Uh, don't need the light wand. We got pan pipes. Oh, we're not trading off our party anymore. Death ring we don't need. Crystal key, arrow sign. Yep. And we are there. Okay. Alright, we're going to have to live with the fact that we don't have conjure staffs. Just kind of miserable, but okay. No. Um, let's go talk to the old man at the review board. And then I'll claim Kinestia.
spells for Robin. So Tenebrosia is next. Really could have used some conjure staffs, but there we are. It is what it is. Okay, so for Ten of Rosio, we need to go to Shadow Rock. Just way over here. That port Ten of Rosia. First goal is the town of Black Scar. It reeks of evil. Because here, we need to get a spell. And a bard song, too. Tenebrosia is all reversed. So, a spell. Spell acquiring. No, oh, no, that's not going to buy a new spell. Robin's not going to worry about it. This is Götter Dämmerung. Götter Dämmerung with its code of nuke, N-U-K-E. It does kind of terrible things. This is the bard. Minstrel Shield, please. Minstrel Shield is going to be our new go-to for when... Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're not doing safety song. Remember what I'm doing here. I'm lucky I didn't get attacked. Okay, now the first place we go is over here. Over here. The outskirts of a huge tar pit. I'm going to start by putting up light. We're going to cast Earthward. Traps up the entire level. Uh, which is good, because there's a lot of traps here. This place is awful, by the way. Not drink from it. You don't drink... You collect... Someone's gotta... There we go. Get some Molten Tar. Get my spell points back a bit. See, for whatever reason, it's not letting me do that with an empty wineskin. Weird. Okay. Go back. You can walk your way through that entire maze if you want. It's perfectly fine. So, the dense forest. Uh, here's where we use the Molten Tar. Uh, we're going to use it, like, right here. Um, it sets trees on fire. It's pretty awesome. We get the shadow door. Now I need to go to the shadow canyon. I need to upwards minus twelve plus eight. Not at all up. I'm gonna cast Earth Ward again. We can go right through that wall. Got the shadow lock. And then from here, we go to the middle of nowhere. We use the shadow door on the ground and the shadow lock to open the door. Yeah, we're going to jump in. And we're going to bring back... Back the Rainbow Dragon, we're going to cast 
Hackport Arcane, and it is 9, 6, and minus 1. I'm going to walk through the north wall. Walk through the north wall. There we go. And here we fight Shadu. Uh, we need to buff up. I made the mistake of not... Uh, It's fine. Nothing. Yeah, this is not a dangerous fight, generally speaking. Hide. Um, petrify. Shadow. Restoration. Fuck. Oh, we got pushed back, okay. Ranged. Hide. Ranged. Defend. Ranged. Hide. Ranged. Defend. Ranged. Hide. Ranged. Defend. Oh, you put a Slayer up in my way. Okay, cool. Ranged. Shadow. Hide. Attack. A. Defend. Thank you. Ranged. Hide. Ranged. Defend. R H R D D. R uh, attack A, attack B, attack A, defend. And that's the end of Shadow. Diamond suit, nice. So he cursed Tarjan as he went down. And like, why would he do that? It's an unusual thing to do. There's some defense. Like what would he have? What reason would he have for cursing Tarjan? Tarjan is the big bad of the game. There's no reason he should be cursing Tarjan, except of course that it implies that he's working for Tarjan, that he expected Tarjan to save him. Reditus, Tenebrosia. And back we go. And we go one more time to the old man at the review board. Twenty spell points, nineteen spell points, yeah. So we're pulling down eighteen and nineteen and twenty spell points at a pop. Magma Blast Pathfinder, Earthmon Jolt Bolt. There we go. Now we need to go to Termesia, which is like all the war. Um, Teramitia is a really neat maze of, um, of complex, interacting, um, war scenes. We're gonna skip all that because I know the answer. So we're currently in Berlin during the Second World War. If we, if we hang around, uh, we will get all sorts of fights with, um, Nazis. So... <laughs> At port minus eight plus nine. Now we are going to use the pan pipes, please. We're going to cast uh, Shadow Shield. We're going to change our Bard Song to the Minstrel Shield. We're going to go in. Wera has come. Wera wants us to give him to uh, earn his shield. Hide the shadows. Um. Yeah, otherwise, we're good to go. Earthball costs 80. That's why I wanted all those spell points. Uh, right, I think. Hide, attack, A, defend. Uh, 
side of town. Don't do that. Please stop that. You know, you're a big fighty guy. What are you doing hiding way back there? Attack. There we go. Critical hit, instant kill. Kato's Bracer, nice. And he gets up, and then Black Slayers show up, and he goes back down. So Black Slayers are a problem. Um, we're going to try and Earth Maw them and just end this fight. And... Uh, didn't work. Okay. No, they killed, they killed her before she had a chance to cast the spell. Okay. Um, heal all. Um, no. Get her, damn it. Attack. Uh, heal all. Um, <laughs> Get to Damarung, Earth Maw. There we go. Oh, it was resisted. All right. Fine. Be that way. Um. Go to Damarung. And Earth and uh, Earth Maw. They're done. Good. We're out of here. Tungsten Shield. So first thing, Kato's Bracer. Kato's Bracer is a piece of monster equipment that prevents a monster from being um, from going uh, rogue on you. You don't need that. Tungsten shield, two tungsten shields. Yes. Red stiletto, also good. Put that on. Pretty sure. Yeah, you can't use the tungsten shields. Geomancer can, though. It says a geomancer can use it. That's not a geomancer. That's why, because Robin's still in the back there. And the bard can. Okay. Where are we now? Okay, new order. We need to get his stuff, where is shield? And then we apport out of here, which is minus one plus one. And we hit the teleporter, which takes us back there. Speaking of which, switch back to the safety song. And now we find out the worst possible news. The old man at the review board... He's dead! Tarjan has been here and has killed the old man at the review board. So now, we didn't get a boost, we didn't get our points back, but he dropped off all our useful... all that stuff that we've been hunting down has been put here. Okay, now we need to equip up. Exit. Bard. Uh, we'll start with the rogue, since that's what's first on my list. Valarian's bow. Uh, the arrows of life. As well. Uh, Shadu's cloak. Better than the adamant bracers. And the helm of justice. Uh, the Geomancer, Robin, gets the Sphere of Lanateer. Let me go the other way. Sphere of Lanateer, the Crown of Truth will wear his shield. And the Strife Spear, which we're going to get later. The Bard, the belt, you know, Illyria's belt. We'll see what else we can throw in here. We don't need those. Might be able to find a use for that. Don't need that. 
Nope, tungsten shield's better. Got a spare tungsten shield, we'll hold on to it for now. Don't think we're gonna die in time to go away. Okay. Wand of power. And helm. Grab this knife and get rid of. Ring of power we can get rid of. Staff of war we want to hold on to. Have an embraces are better than mithril. Anger's eye we want to keep on there. Get with bracers. Okay. Use a couple harmonic gems. We're gonna go back in here. We're gonna leave behind um, the key, 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 magic triangle. These things are such a disorganized mess. Okay. All right. And that's already done. Now. We go deal with six gods. We have to go right to the very base corner here. Now if I want to level up, I can go back and do it at um, Tenebrosia. I don't think it's really worthwhile. Aport Malefia, and here we get the Strife Spear. Hawkslayer has been squeezed like a doll. <laughs> Strife Spear, equip. Also provides critical hits. So, here we go. Six gods. Uh, okay, so I'm going straight through here. Little point to there. We're now. Where's my, where's my line going? Pink line, there it is. Um, oh, it's down there, yeah. Uh, hard to read my map. Where am I? Yeah. Is that the wrong portal? I'm just looking in the wrong place, that's why. This map is very confused and confusing to read. Climb up. Okay. Um. Now I'm there. So the six gods that we talked about, this is Valerian. So we use Valerian's bow, and the statue fades away. He cannot be defeated by what he can see. Light out. But also notice the walls glow. It's kind of weird. Where am I? From there? Okay. And I've got a no-spin ring on, so I don't have to worry about which way I'm going. Purple line. I need to go this way. Um, I need to go up from here. That would be a malicious spot. 
and we have to take a fight here. We're not right here. We'd be taking a lot of fights if I didn't have the safety song. We do have to take this fight. We don't have to actually engage in it, but we do have to get attacked. <laughs> uh, keep going. Hmm. Need to remember where my traps are. Portal down. I should be there. This should be Lanatir. Go oppose usurper to oppose usurpers usurpers. Uh, there's nothing turning off the light here. Uh, still going up. Uh, over this way. A red line. Need to climb up here. Turn around. Go to the corner. In this door. Uh, we don't take that down. We go over here. Illyria. Legions horde and vast. Portal below me. Stairs up. Go back to this teleporter. Following the green line, I'm coming out here. And there's one here. It's Shadu. So use Shadu's cloak. Hold his allies at bay. Until I realized what that meant, the final fight in this game took me forever. But then I realized what it meant, and I will demonstrate what that means. Yeah. <laughs> this, by the way, is a huge three-story maze. I highly recommend doing it, um, you know, properly. Ferrofist's Helm. He opens the gates of hell. Like, explore everything. It's, it's actually a really trying, a really challenging map. A little, really challenging maze. Very well made. one. Way is open for a new generation. Six gods free. And this door is here now. Okay, first ugly fight. Here we go. One high priestess 20 Black Paladins, 30, 3 Rock Demons, and 3 Pit Demons. Bard Song, Minstrel Shield, Cast, Earth Maw, at the Black Paladins. Hide in the Shadows, Cast Spellbind, at the High Priestess, Cast Luck Chant, Go. And that number right there, 16,000, is why this is an ugly fight. That's why I'm using instant kill spells. Um, yeah, into magic. And. Lock chant again. Ah! Robin got turned to stone before. Okay, that makes things tricky. Not Keel's Overture. Traveler's Tomb. 
Hide cast Stone Flesh on Robin. <laughs> Just give me a luck. Give me a luck, Chan. Oh no. Reload. <laughs> okay. No, we're good with that. Yeah, I think we're good here. What I need is to change my bard song to Minstrel Shield so I don't have to waste a turn doing that. Off we go. Bard song, Lock Laren. No. Bard song. Um. Yeah, Travis Tune. Last Earth Maw. On the Paladins. Hide in the shadows. Please cast a spellbind at the High Priestess. And. Here we go. Um, what are you going to do? You're going to give me a luck chant. Shield. Cast. Cast an Earth Maw. Hide. And hope that does it. There we go. Done. An incense and a helm. Okay. Rainbow Dragon, you're out. High Priestess, you're in. Um. You're also at the front of the party, please, and thank you. Next thing we need to do is... We're going to get blown up a bit as we go through here. Um, yeah. This is fine. Through this door is the next big fight. We're already doing Minstrel, I can hear it. Um, do I Shadow Shield on? Yep. <laughs> Vortexes are a problem. So what we need is Traveler's Tune, Hide in the Shadows. We need to cast Earth Maw at the Trajan Warriors. Um, we need to go Anton. Uh, we need to go... No, Spellbind. What am I doing? Spellbind. There's a whole reason I did that. And here we need Divine Intervention. And now we got Redbeard. All right. Now we just got to deal with these vortexes. Switch your equipment over to the Spectre Snare, please. Attack. Um, attack. And what, what can I hit them without that far? Yeah, got her damn wrong. Got her damn wrong. Okay. Nail the march. Uh, attack. Uh, got her done wrong. Grave robber. Yep. Why do you show those? And now it's all vortexes all the time. Uh, 
There we go. We're out of here. Death Ring, Longbow, Diamond Staff. None of that matters. Okay. The game is called The Thief of Fate for a reason. And here we go. Give me some light. Pause for a second. Now, make sure everything is set up. Wish me luck, because this is going to take a few tries, probably. Okay, High Priestess, get out. And in we go. First thing we need to do, hide in the shadows. Bard's Song. Uh, yeah, Kel's Overture. We need to get those Black Slayers away from me. So we're going to do an Earth Maw at the Rock Demons. We're going to cast a Spellbind at Lorini. And we're going to cast a Far Death. Oh no, we're going to cast... No, 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 back up. I need a Far Foe on the Black Slayers. I need a Force of Tarjan on the Black Slayers. Good. They're out of the way. The Black Slayers are 70 feet away. That gives me time to deal with them. Bard Song, McLaren. Uh, we're going to. What are we going to do here? We're going to do a. Well, we're going to eventually do an Earth Maw at the, at the Black Slayers, I think. Uh, Jolt Bolt. Uh, this may be a problem because I think I forgot to equip stuff I need to equip and recover my spell points. We're going to just back up. That's how that that's how that first round should look. <laughs> but I forgot to inventory. Hold on, Jen. Now we go in. Do that same thing again. Bard Song Laclaren. Cast Earth Maw at the Rock Demons so they don't get close. Far Foe at the Black Slayers. And Force of Tarjan at the Black Slayers. Push them. Thank you. Yes. Uh, someone got a Halt Foe off. This could be a problem as we lose a round. <laughs> threw in a brother, a Kringle brother. Cool. Um, the Black Slayer's advanced. Doesn't put them in range of Earth Maw. Attack High Priestess. We're going to cast Spellbind on Lorini. Yes, we are going to Spellbind a mini boss. That's how this works. Grave Robber on Strum. Yeah, that didn't work. Cool. Okay, I can't let them get get to 60 feet. 60 feet is bad. Bard Song Laclaren. Cast Earth Maw on the Rock Demons. Cast Far Foe on the Black Slayers. Cast Force of Tarjan on the Black Slayers. Okay. Attack a High Priestess. Bard Song Laclaren. Cast Petrify on the other High Priestess. Spellbind on Lorini. And Luck Chant. Okay. 
So just got the Black Slayers to worry about. Hide. Cast. Dolt Bolt. Cast. Far Foe. Cast. Actually, back up. Cast. Sandstorm. Cast. Far Foe. Cast. Force of Tarjan. All of those will move them back. Good. Out of range. Good. Fantastic. Hide. Uh, now we're going to Jolt Bolt. Um, cast All Heal. And Gothar Damarong. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Hide. Uh, use that harmonic gem you're holding on to. You can cast the Gotter Damarung. You hold off Bard Song Trebuchet. Okay, we're out of here. That's fight one down. Oh, light one, thank you. Here comes Tarjan. Alright, same deal. Just worse. Alright, first thing we need. An Earth Maw on the Rock Demons. We need a Far Foe on the Black Slayers. We need a Force of Tarjan on the Black Slayers. And we need some Luck Laren. Good, good, good. Everything is going fine. Black Slayers are as far away as they can get. Hide. The only thing that can kill Tarjan is a thief attacking from the shadows. So, Vampire Lords, Earth Maw. Next thing we need, we need a preclusion spell. We need a luck chant. We need spell song. Okay, there go the vampire lords. Good. Ten black slayers have appeared at 20 feet away. That's a problem. Jolt Bolt. Gotterdamarung. Divine Intervention. Um, what am I going to use to defend myself? I'm going to use a Luck Claren. We're going to cross our fingers. Okay, good. Now it's just a matter of getting to Tarjan. No, that's not what I want. Hide. You don't have an equipped item to use, so you're going to put on... Ah, I hate how this disorganizes. I'm going to grab the Staff of Lore. You are going to... No, I'm not using safety spell. Um, we've already got Divine Intervention in play. Let's with my might. You're going to use that Harmonic Gem you're carrying, and you are going to keep buffing us. Um, Seeker's Ballad. He cannot be hurt. Use the Staff of Lore. Um, giant Strength, Luck Chant, uh, Seeker's Song, Hide, couple rounds away, cast, uh, nothing here to cast, okay, Defend, Cast battle skill on the thief. Lock chant. Bard song seeker. Hide two rounds. Defend. Cast Wrath of Valhalla on the thief. Cast Lock chant again. Bard song melee march. He got a black slayer through. Okay. Hide, cast Petrify on the Black Slayer. Um, we're still going to keep buffing here. Uh, Disrupt Illusion. Um, Far Death on the Black Slayer. And Melee March. Okay, he's got, he got two more through. Attack Tarjan. That should kill him. If we're lucky. Petrify, cast... Nuke, cast Far Death on two, Bard, Spell Song, done! Time. Well, there we go. And I'm just going to let this ending play out. Whoa!
So that's four hours of my life, but I was five minutes faster than before. I think that merits a glass of water. Five minutes faster with a two minute bio break in there. And having to look up the answer to a puzzle I should know. So yeah, the old man at the review board turns out to be, like, the ultimate god. And Tarjan was relatively cooperative this time, which was nice. I think while that's going on, let's see about finding someone to throw a raid to. Because I am done. I'm just toast at this point. I've been on my feet for the last four hours and five minutes, apparently. So, uh, thank you for joining me, if you have been. Thanks for hanging out. Chatting along. I appreciate it. And there we go. All right. So thanks for hanging out. I'm going to move us on over. And we'll see you all next time.